good morning. It is officially March, but so we're just starting this vlog off. What a fun day to start the month. I'm currently heading to the Northern Ireland uh, Bloggers Brunch, the NI Bloggers Brunch. Um, and it is being hosted in the Skechers store here in Belfast. So I'm going to be taking you along with me and we'll see what we get up to. Also, Jamie, the store manager. Where are you, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> the good manager back there. Um, Hi! Stop it. What's it for? Oh, I love them. Do you know what they remind me of? Do you like the Louis Vuitton ones, no? Yes, that's yep. the shape of them. Love. Oh, hi! We've got a YouTube sensation. Uh huh. This one. No. <laughs> I'm amateur. I'm amateur. This is the This is the queen of YouTube. I'm trying to pick up loads of tips. I just want his little face nails. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just Carly in Harlem here in Belfast, getting some brunch with Sham. <laughs> She's a blogger. <laughs> so our brunch has arrived. I went for poached eggs, bacon, sausage, and sordo bread. And Sham has went for red velvet pancakes. Naughty Sham. Naughty, naughty. I regret ordering mine. Okay, so hi everybody, that's me now back um, from brunch and the Skechers, um, the Skechers event, it was really, really good. So in our goodie bags were these here, um, and this is from a company called Fingernails To Go, like what do you see inside this, you're going to die. Look, that, <laughs> like they're like, they make personalised fingernails, like you know, like fake nails, like falsies, like falsies girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm now actually um, going to be heading for food here um, up to the port with my friends so I might take these with me I'm not too sure um, get a wee bit self-conscious like filming in public places like restaurants and stuff um, but we'll see Rachel hey I'm out right, with Rachel and Jack we're just getting dinner it's a Sunday this is the beginning of the March vlog by the way what? They're they're fed up with the vlogs what? this is the beginning of the March vlog Oh hey, we're just getting food, so we'll keep you posted what we get. Yanni, you're on my vlog. We're currently live, we're rolling. Say hello. Oh, <laughs> oh. Here. <laughs> like, look at me. I look like as if I'm about to, like, burgle eyes. <laughs> So we were, just for anybody who actually gives a shit, we were in Neptune and Prawn. It is in Port Rush. And, um, what do we think, everybody? Yeah, I thought it was lovely. Snack with Jack thought it was lovely. Rochelle? He's looking sponsored the next time he's up. No, I'm not. Not you, Jack. Oh, right. He's lame. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what, stop saying shit I can't put in this vlog. <laughs> I know. So we're just out for lunch here in Belfast in the Chubby Shrub, and if you look at the walls, like, they're absolutely gorgeous. Like The interior is just so cute. Okay, so we're all here in Louise's, um, so if you might remember from the January vlog, we were all uh, very cocky about the fact that we were going Coachella, well, <laughs> now our tail is tucked between our legs because we're not going anymore. So we're currently in a crisis meeting. How do we all feel? No chill! <laughs> okay, so hi everybody, I'm popping on. Um, yeah, Coachella's cancelled. It has been postponed to um, October. If you're watching this, you will be very much aware of the coronavirus. Um, and it just keeps seems to be like increasing and increasing by the day. So it's really, really scary. Um, everything just seems to be so uncertain. Like the economy's going to get hit. Everything's just going to get hit. It's really, really scary times. Um, but now I'm glad that it's been rescheduled and that it hasn't been actually cancelled because I think like other music festivals maybe got cancelled, like Ultra Music Festival in Miami and other ones. So to be honest, I did kind of see it coming. Um, I'm got it though because I've been putting on so much effort um, behind the scenes like with my outfits and stuff everything was nearly finalised like everything was in the middle of being designed and then now it's just kind of like where does that leave me now like am I going to go in, in October or I don't know like you know it's just stressful times but um, yeah March is a bit of a bummer <laughs> On a lighter note, um, I'm currently now going to be heading up to Belfast here. Uh, we are going to the launch of the new My Sister's Closet store. So they had a pop-up store in Victoria Square originally, um, Anita and Donna, but now they actually have a store beside, like right in Victoria Square. So we're going to go and check it out. So I will be bringing you along with me because it's like a blogger event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Bye, Jordan. <laughs> There's Emma. <laughs> this is a new pop up store in uh, Victoria Square with the guards, Anita and Donna, for my sister's closet. Absolutely gorgeous. There's the Maze Louise. It's my vlog. It's very up and coming. Yes. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry. So I'm here with Jordan. We're in the My Sister's Closet store. Hi. <laughs> right, you're not in radio, Jordan. Hi, guys. How's it going? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> okay, so we're parked up, by the way, before like the traffic branch comes for me, right? But we're currently in Cole Rain here. Um, obviously, coronavirus is all very scary at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it is, Moo Moo. Sorry. So, um, a fella just kindly gave me um, his ticket. Your pen is so close to your mouth. <laughs> So yes, we've got wipes. It's okay now. Very th thank you. I don't know if the fella would have me on Instagram. <laughs> he was about like fifty. And there's a new traffic warden coming too. And the traffic warden's coming as well. But um, always make sure to bring wipes. Um, reg oh, re oh, regular sanitization. Um, you know, it's very nice. Baby wipes aren't advisable. Um, alcohol gels are probably better. Just to put that out there. Sorry. For protection, they're fine though. Like Maybe. they have nothing else. So, well, basically, I'm doing my bits. No. Even though it was very nice to the fella, if you are watching, thank you for giving me the parking ticket. Um, it means I don't have to pay for one, but like, look, precaution, coronavirus girl. Hi, everyone. Just joined in in George's vlog because I think I look great. With you this do look camera. Kind of, the camera makes you look better than I do, anyway. Oh, <laughs> Moo Moo. He doesn't know Anya is um, starting up a new vlog. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. We're, we're currently in Coleraine. Um, we're going to a coffee shop called Lost and Found. I love going for we coffee. We were once lost. Now we're. Now we're found in Coleraine. <laughs> Stop it, right? Get. Hi, my man. Oh, is it better? Yes, yeah, the video. Oh, better. <laughs> so, this is just your hair pretending to be candid and lost in fine and glory. <laughs> like lost. Lost. <laughs> okay, so. Oh. <laughs> my man. You look like. <laughs> French? French? Did you think so? Yes! Stop! We're currently just walking up. Oh, hi! Hello! Hi! <laughs> just seen somebody. I don't know who that was, dude. Oh my god, no! Stop it. Oh my god, I feel like a neck. We're currently walking up the promenade in Port Stewart, um, <laughs> vlogging, um, because we don't know when we'll get back out because we're getting self vaccination. It's going to be happening very, very soon because we've been in contact with a lot of people, even though it has been nice and not being proud. But yeah, um, so just enjoying this fresh air before. We don't get it again. Uh -huh. So yeah, over and out. The view's great. Look, you don't have to go far, far away. Fields are green, everybody. Far away. Fields are green. Or right, fuck off. <laughs> so I currently have my friend <laughs> Jack. You're on my vlog. Look. <laughs> so right, Jack is currently. For anybody who doesn't know, Jack is currently in Krakow in Poland. Okay. So Jack, tell a story. So if I don't get a flight or a train or something out of Poland by midnight 12 o'clock tonight I am stuck here for a minimum two weeks and that's like quarantine yes and um, yes there's no restaurants there's no bars open so um, Jack will so be in I'm isolation here. in the country yeah so you'll be in Poland for two weeks minimum yeah that's if they decide to open the borders after that oh my gosh Jack and then so what's the latest then with the situation so you're I'm currently, currently in the airport the airport Ryanair cancelled my flight they didn't email us to tell us to cancel the flight. I had to ring the airport and just find out by someone at the airport that ran out cancelled my flight. Yeah. So I'm at the airport now. There's no other flights to Ireland today. So I'm just trying to get to anywhere in the UK. In the UK. So it's a recap in case you can't properly hear that. Jack is meant to be leaving Poland tomorrow. And now basically because midnight tonight, the country's going into like a lockdown, I guess. Um, yes. Jack has to get out of the country by tonight anywhere in the UK so he is trying to get a flight he's in the airport is it mad in the airport at the minute Jack? yeah the keys are humongous oh my gosh stop if there's anything I can do if, yes, if you need money or anything let me know although you will be re you will be returning it okay you will pay for me a fiver for a pint no not no essentials okay right I'll keep you posted keep me posted Jack okay bye bye, bye. I'm snookered. Jack takes all my photographs for Instagram. That's two weeks. We need to get Jack out of Poland.
Okay, so my plan B is now out the window as well. So it has just been announced that obviously no UK and Ireland flights um, are now going to be um, going to the US. Um, so like originally it was like Europe, so like all of the rest of Europe were not allowed to travel into America for 30 days because of the coronavirus. Um, and now the UK and Ireland, it applies this Monday. Um, so that basically means what we had a planned originally when we went to all meet up, we all said that like, look, Coachella's been moved on the plus side, let's be positive. We're still gonna go to LA. We got our hotel refunded from Palm Springs. So we were gonna go now and book accommodation to go to Los Angeles and go. To be honest now, I think about it, it's like it would have been a stupid idea. This is obviously getting a lot worse. You're now in my vlog. Now what that means is we're not getting on any form of a holiday. This is really, really scary. Like I think this entire March vlog is just gonna be coronavirus updates and I'm so sorry like for it to be so negative, but like this is real life. This is what's happening. It's really, really scary. Like I don't think anybody really fully understands the true extent of this. Okay, so the last I would have been speaking to all of you would have been obviously with my friend. He's now out of uh, Poland, um, so that all worked out. But obviously now things have got a lot more serious here in um, the UK and Europe. Um, the coronavirus, um, it's really, really scary. And it's very, very important that we all take our own personal precautions. Um, everybody is now in a form of self-isolation. Um, so like restaurants are now shut, bars, um, like gyms, everything's kind of on a lockdown, so to speak. The more that we contribute to this and all kind of work together, then frankly, like the sooner this will all be over. But um, I'm going for a walk here with my friend and I'm just taking my own personal precautions. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared and it's not because of my own health, it's more of the health of others that would be around me, so to speak. So, um, I see Naomi Campbell do this, so if Naomi's doing it, we should all be doing it, okay? So, we want to avoid as much contact with people as possible, so it's important. Also, I wear, maybe I'm gonna be a bit OTT, but let, I'd rather be over cautious that under caution. So I've got my health and safety glasses on because I'm not actually short-sighted. So I'm gonna wear these for the walk as well. Make sure that you have hand sanitizer regularly with you. You don't know what you will touch. And then finally, I'm just gonna be wearing a pair of rubber gloves because I don't know necessarily what I could touch. I know I sound like as if I'm a real germaphobe here, but I would, oh my God, my glasses are steaming up. <laughs> I'll take this off for a second. Um, you know, it's just important that we take our own personal precautions. Okay, so this is currently outfit of the day. <laughs> yeah, so I've got my gloves on, I've got my protective eyewear, I've got my mask on. I'm going for a walk with my neighbour, Rachel. Um, so obviously, like, we just have to take precautions, so. Okay, so we're just out for a walk, two metres apart. So... <laughs> you smell anyway. Oh, I smell... <laughs> <laughs> says I smell anyway, fucking bitch. Oh, there's a dog taking um, our social distancing very serious, going out for a walk, trying to clear the head during these difficult times. March has been a shit month. Rachel, how are you finding March? Uh -huh. That's all she has to say. Well, the only reason I'm wearing gloves is just because I would have a tendency to always touch my face. So I'm just trying to be really, really careful, taking in nature in these horrible, horrible times. Okay, so hi everybody. So this is the final time where I'm going to be coming on. Um, the coronavirus is has got it's got very very serious, and I think um, I know. Obviously, I've been documenting this kind of whole process in my like March vlog, but um, I know some of the footage you're going to watch back is like why is he with people when he's meant to be isolating, or why is he da 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 da. But I wanted to keep all this footage in because I wanted to show a true reflection of what this process has actually been. There was a period of time from the beginning of the month how it wasn't being taken serious. Like we just kind of thought, oh, you know, it'll not happen or like our country here or like no people are like blowing it out of proportion or whatever and stuff. And you know, I want to highlight the mistakes that were made in, in myself personally. And I want to highlight that to show you the severity of this. There's a massive strain on our healthcare services um, and people really need to take this isolation serious. Now, I am now officially working from home. Um, I do think that the country is now gonna go into like a lockdown from our government um, because obviously over the weekend people have misunderstood what isolation actually entails. It means literally avoiding any contact. You're not meant to be seeing friends. You're not meant to be seeing anybody. You're meant to be staying at home as much as you possibly can. And the only time you should have any exposure is if you have to in the case of an emergency. 
So yeah, like that's why I really wanted to show that there because I wanted to show the mistakes that I've made in this, how I have misjudged the situation, how I at first r thought that, like, you know, that it might not be as serious. And now I think we really do realize the true extent of how serious this is. Like, we are in critical times here. So I just want to sign this vlog off. I'm not too sure if I will do an April vlog, like, you know, quarantine. <laughs> Honey, I don't think it's going to be fun. It's not going to be like... I don't think we're going to get content, Henny. <laughs> I'm sorry that this has been a wee bit negative, but this is what's been going on in the month of March, you know? So I really just wanted to document it, like the highs, the lows. I want everything that I do on YouTube to be as honest and, un and unfiltered as possible. But before I sign off, um, I just want to say to everybody, please stay, st stay safe. Remember that you have to not only consider your own health, but the health of others around you. So please stay at home. I cannot emphasize it enough. I know that that might sound hypocritical because this vlog, you've seen me like I was at a coffee shop and then I was out for a walk with a friend, but this is serious and I cannot emphasize that enough. And I've kept that in this vlog deliberately to show you what is like, eh, eh, like that is wrong, don't do that. The sooner that we all cooperate together and stick to this and, you know, commit to isolation, the sooner this will all be over. That's all I wanna say, please take this message serious, stay safe, lots of love, and I will chat to you all very, very soon. <laughs>